top of the morning to you on this 2022 St. Patrick's Day. How exciting. Uh, I'm on the West Coast, so I'm sure I'm a little late for some of you East Coasters and, you, and some of you people who are now winding up your day. But without talking too much about luck, let's talk about how we make our own luck. We do make our own luck through the actions that we do and through the energy that we put forth. One of the things that I tell people is, um, I tell people as a human, as a Christian, to be good to one another. And when you're good to one another and you express your well wishes to one another, you actually bring about some very, very effective and good change, um, including good communication. Good communication is key in order to cross these divides that we are seeing with masks, with vaccinations, um, even with this don't say gay bill, it's hysterical. I see people who are freaking out going, oh my God, it's don't say gay. And it's not even, they don't even mention the word gay in the bill. The whole idea is that you don't want to teach sexuality, gender identity to children ages, you know, what, five, six, seven years old, third, second, first, kindergarten. It's not part of the curriculum. Children shouldn't be exposed to that. Um, and when everyone's saying gay, 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 we also have on the flip side, we have, um, who was it? Uh, Dave Rubin, who just announced that he and his partner or husband, however they want to describe themselves, they are announced the birth of their new children. I, I personally, uh, my husband and I, we don't have children. We've uh, considered adoption. We've considered surrogacy. But ultimately, we felt it was buying a child. I, we, we felt that if God wanted to bless our relationship, our life th with a child, then he would. Until then, we would fight for other children and for other people because we have the capacity to do so. So um, I do pray for the children, always pray for the children. So I pray that the parents give him or her some um, structure, some guidance, morals, and faith. These things are important. Whether the parents are male and male, female and female, male and male, the idea is that two parents are involved in a child's upbringing, and they ultimately get to decide how they want to educate their children. And the people of Florida have spoken. They said, no, this is not part of any sort of a curriculum that needs to be presented to children at any age appropriateness, because what's wrong with teaching human reproduction? This is how humans normally reproduce. I was watching the live last night with Hagatha and Outspoken, and they were talking about that. They'll learn about the other stuff on their own. There's, I've seen uh, TikToker, Gothics, uh, I'm not, sorry, TikToker, YouTuber, Gothics, talking about how these young kids are being exposed to very sexual um, and very in age inappropriate content at a very young age. Uh, they're even showing it on TikTok where the kids are playing the Pornhub intro at, to see which one of their classmates react, which tells us that they're already seeing this content. Uh, we also have the left trying to normalize sex work, and that's basically comes on the heels of this whole OnlyFans people's um, desire and this this hunger for something outside of their, you know, their attainability. They have fantasies, and it, it, that's up to them as adults. I definitely feel that children should not be anywhere near that content, and we as adults have a responsibility to make sure that that content doesn't reach our children before they're ready to, to digest that as adults. Um, if, they, if they choose to digest that, I don't have, I don't want to say we can outlaw pornography or we can outlaw um, prostitution because, I mean, come on, that stuff has existed since the beginning of time. Let's be real. But I'm also not of the thought that we should be legalizing it and taxing it and bringing it into our society so that it's normal for teenagers to have OnlyFans. I don't think that's appropriate. So uh, this is why we have this Don't Say Gay bill. Um, today is is what is St. Patrick's Day, and I remember two years ago, on a positive note, I do want to say that the shutdown happened two years ago. We should be celebrating the death of coronavirus. We should actually hold funerals. I think it'd be hysterical. Uh, but aside from that, uh, one of the cool things that I do remember from two years ago with the beginning of this whole onset of this pandemic was the freeways in California were epically empty. Uh, so I do want to give you guys that. I do want to remember that and, and acknowledge that because 
it is two years since we were shut down on this date. Everyone was freaking out. Everyone was bunk bunkering home. And for the next two days, people were not doing anything but listening to the TV. They were taking in the propaganda. So give you guys that reminder. I love you guys all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And may the luck of the Irish be with you today and every single day. I love you all. Mwah! Bye, guys.